everyone, you're watching GT Sam. I'm Sam, and today we're gonna to be working on the throttle body and cleaning it up and all the gunk that's inside there. So I went ahead and already did a little bit of that work already and took off the big intake for the supercharger over in the back there. Give you a little bit of a rundown of what that looks like and show you a little bit of the process. It's not difficult, time consuming, because you really have to like work your way in there with all your, your tools and with the little nuts and bolts and stuff like that. So it takes some time. Just... So, so we have to really just set some time apart for that. But let me show you what's going on here quick. Nope, your eyes aren't deceiving you. It just went from daytime to nighttime. So this is my geniusness happening here. I thought I was doing great. Had the camera set up, pointed right at the whole car and you'll be able to see my process going through the whole thing, make a time lapse. Obviously I, I messed that up. They can't see anything I'm doing. So. I would have liked to show you the whole process it was taken for me to get the actual intake off for the supercharger, but fortunately, that's not going to happen. So I'm going to move on. So I also broke a EGR valve, uh, very plasticky pipe that was ready to break at any moment. Uh, at this point, I went ahead and was able to pull off the top intake for the supercharger and to the back of the throttle body, as you can see right there. Top looks shiny, but there's more than meets the eye here. Ooh, check that out. That's all like oil deposits, is junk, gunk and carbon, it's super gooey and just nasty. It was ridiculous. So I went ahead and started diving into actually taking the throttle body uh, completely off, movable and loose. So this took a long time because I could not see back there at all. I was just using a small wrench, about uh, 10 millimeter, and then I started using my ratchet set on here as well and take off the plug on the right there. And here we go, I'm going to just go spray some carb cleaner in there, and get all the gunk out of the way. Then I brought my handy dandy toothbrush into this, and give it a little scrub, and do much better. So this is the before, of course, uh, the completely messed up and disgusting, and just carbon building and gunk all over the place. And I think it actually helped make the engine a little bit better by cleaning this all up. And as you're about to see right now, check it out. Wow, dry and clean. It actually ran so much better, even though the engine's already crap. We already know that it's actually running a lot better and actually it stays on doesn't stall as much so anyways believe it or not guys this is actually a short video just to give you a little insider look onto the throttle body in the back all the way of the engine if anybody actually wants to venture back there go right here be my guest this is just a quick guide to help you out a little bit i'm a firm believer in carbon buildup and throttle bodies and intake manifolds they need to be clean this was definitely no exception this was really bad and i think all cars should have at some point in their life some kind of cleaning like that. i've done that with um, a bunch of my cars already in the past it helps the longevity and the performance of the cars as well not using as much gas too so that's why i wanted to do this on the jag and see if it would help in some way somehow but guys thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it like i said i know this is a short video and it's probably not what you fully expected, but again, I appreciate the views. If you want to hand like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to give me a subscribe for some more video content coming along your way, that's definitely not like this, but longer and much more exciting, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It really helped me out a lot too. We're on our way to 200 subscribers. We're a little off still, but cruising right along to meet that mark hopefully soon. But again, thank you so much for watching. I'm GT Sam. Catch you next time.